and style upcycling entrepreneur, artist, activist, and podcast host. I am so excited about my latest passion project, which is actually podcasting. I have been dreaming about my podcast for, I don't know, years, honestly, like really years. And um, now I have one and it's called Rags to Rich. Has anybody out there listened to it yet? Let me just tell you, it's so much fun to be a podcast host because, you know, in case you hadn't noticed, I, I have a gift to gab. My dad was an Irish man. I was born in Ireland, actually. Fun facts about Crispina today. So I just wanted to hop on here. Last week we talked about, so every, let me back up a minute. Every week for the past, I think it's been a year. Who's been around that long? Anybody? So for about a year, I have been broadcasting my Tuesday's Textile Alchemy um, here on all the platforms. So you might see me on the um, Instagram or the Facebook or YouTube and also on LinkedIn. And I come on here and I do about 20 minutes worth of just like little kind of like life hacks that you can do that are kind of fun and that are also um, helping to kind of reduce textile consumption. So um, I have two announcements today. One is that we're going to, we're going to darn socks. I'm going to show you how to darn today. Darn it. Um, and the other is that you guys, I am so busy right now that I am going to actually close off our Tuesday's textile alchemy. I'm going to um, take a little break. I'm really working hard on the podcast and I'm getting ready for our, um, our summit coming up in April. So I have too many things going on. And just in case anybody out there didn't hear the news, which you probably didn't because, you know, sometimes I forget that it's not all about me for everyone. Um, my husband got really badly injured in November. So he's home and he needs a bunch of help. So it's just kind of, I just kind of have to simplify a little bit, but today we're going to have fun. We're going to spend about 20 minutes. I'm going to show you how to darn socks. And I would love to know who's out there. Can I see some waves coming in on the Instagram? It's so much easier to see what's going on on the Instagram than on my other platforms. But if you're listening and you are able to make a comment or give me a wave or whatever. I'd love to see that. And I'd love to see where are you tuning in from? Oh, I see some familiar names coming up. Naledi. I don't know if that's, if I'm pronouncing your name properly, but thank you so much for loving the podcast and for just being like a super consistent viewer here on my Tuesday's textile alchemy. Um, and I see a bunch of other people whose names are just scrolling right by. Hello. Oh, your name is actually Anita from Sweden. Hello. Thank you for being here. Melissa. Um, Melissa Draper from out in Utah is with us. And Melissa. Oh, hey, Melissa. Um, Lewis. Oh, my goodness. That's a blast from the past. I haven't seen your name cross my screen in a long time. I hope you're doing well. Carrie. All right. This is so much fun, you guys. So I'm really going to mess Tuesday's text to me. But if you just tuned in, I'm just going to take a little break because I have a lot going on. And if anybody is interested in staying on top of the textile alchemy stuff, take a listen to the podcast. Brags to Riches Textile Upcycling Podcast dot com if you want to check out the show notes or find an easy link to get to the um the different episodes every week on mondays a new episode is released and i interview textile upcycling alchemists i um talk about just different ways that i um uh, encourage creative textile upcycling and it's really um for fun you know like one of the things that i really try to sort of steer clear of get around is the whole doom and gloom thing right like you know, if you listen to the news, you're, you just, you know, we're going to hell in a handbasket, but I am hopping out of that basket <laughs> and I'm going to hang out here with you guys and show you how much fun it is to just be creative and just use a little bit less, right? So I got started in last week. We talked about a sewing kit. Was anybody with us last week? Um, 
Oh, and yeah, Suzanne, my husband is home for anybody who wants an update. Um, my husband, Chris, he's a tree guy and he's um, healing up. He's doing really good. He's um, not quite walking yet, but he will be soon. And um, all of his injuries will heal. There's no like permanent um, injury, which there are angels watching over that boy. Let me tell you. Um, okay. Back to the order of business here. Oh, and your mom darn socks. Oh, me Murphy. Um, oh, and I think that, um, oh, um, you have been away for a little while and I'm glad to see you back. Um, so people use darning eggs. So, uh, one of my listeners last week gave a really good idea about darning. Um, if you need to put something inside the sock, which you can see, I'm all about putting my hand inside the sock. Um, light bulbs, you know, the old school, like incandescent light bulbs work really good for this kind of thing. So what you can do is just stick something like that inside of the sock. You can even use like a lotion bottle or, um, like a cup or a, like a jar, anything. I actually really, honestly, I have darning eggs and I don't use them. I use my hand and you can, can you guys see there's a, there's a little hole. I'm, I've been working with two cameras here. So pardon me if it looks a little weird. So I'm going to take my threaded needle and I'm doing this with a contrasting color yarn. So you can kind of see it more easily, but I'm going to start by poking my needle through so that the knot is going to be actually on the inside of the sock, which I might be kicking myself for later. Cause it might like be kind of like an uncomfortable little bundle in, in my toe, but I, I think it'll be fine. Um, Oh, and um, <laughs> she's hopping out of the um, Hell in the Hand basket, basket as well. Um, <clears throat> Deborah Rappaport. You guys, Deborah Rappaport is tuning in with us on Instagram, and she is one of my most recent guests on my podcast, and it was so much fun to have that chat with you, Deborah. Thank you so much for your time. And then I also got to see you featured on Humans of New York, who's a star, <laughs> Deborah Rappaport. Um, honestly, this girl is amazing. She's so creative. She's got such a good vibe. And I, Deborah, I honestly feel like I've known you for a long time. Like it's just, it was so nice to have the opportunity to connect that way. So listen to that episode and, um, other ones, if you, if you dig it. And also if you guys like the, the podcast, um, review it on, on Apple podcasts, because that really helps the algorithm like it better. Um, so yeah. So, okay. I, I sometimes I start stitching without t telling you what I'm doing. So I'm taking long stitches right across that hole and see, there's a, you can see the knot. Can you see the knot kind of sticking out a little bit? So that's going to be on the inside, but I'm just making like, if you're a weaver, you know, like warp and weft. So I'm, I'm making the warp and I'm just going to take long stitches right across the hole until the hole is covered. So I'm just taking a little piece of the of the sock fabric. I think that I got a new computer. Can you tell the, the camera is pretty sweet? Um, so a little snippet there, and then I'm just going to pull it through and it's, it almost sort of looks like a little bit of a ladder, like just long stitches going straight across. Okay. So I'm going to actually put my glasses on so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Um, and Oh, Mary Knox. Hey, where are you? Where are you? Mary Knox? Where do you live? Are you in the United States. Are you in Massachusetts by chance? Um, I see Carrie. I know Carrie's out there in Arizona. Carrie, how are you doing? Are you getting like a ton of rain out there? Um, and Lewis, Lewis Bauer Bannister, are you still doing flowers? Like you had the most incredible um, flower shop and dog. I remember your dog. Um, so it's been a little while, but fun to see your name. Um, Rockport, Maine. All right. I bet you that it's beautiful up in Rockport, Maine this time of year off season. So can you see what I'm doing? Little long stitches, right? And the hole is just about covered. I like to give it a little bit extra just because, you know, where the hole was tends to be a little weak. So you want to kind of, you're, we're kind of um, building a little extra structure in the sock fabric. Um, so there's, um, now that we have those stitches on and if anybody's, is anybody actually doing this along with me? Um, oh, L, you guys, 
Elra Lee is on with us right now and she has, well, Elle is her name. She has a beautiful company called Elra Lee and check it out. Elra Lee.com is E L L E R A L I.com. This girl talk about talent. Okay. She was one of our presenters last year at our rags to riches textile upcycling summit and really just a creative individual, awesome, original styles. So sorry about all the promotion, but I can't help myself. I just, I love it when I see people doing cool stuff. So now that I've got my stitches in, I'm taking actually the back side of my needle. So it's the dull point, right? Like the place, the eye of the needle and I'm weaving over under the stitches that I just laid down. And then I'm going to go across and then I'm going to pick up a little snippet of the sock fabric on this far end of that stitch. And I'm going to go back the other way and you're going to, you know, where you went over, you're going to go under this time around um, and back and forth. You're going to kind of fill it in. Um, and I just want to say that, you know, this is very, I love darning socks and I love hand sewing and it's something I've done for many years. So if it's not super easy and smooth for you, the first time you try, please don't, get disgruntled or frustrated because it takes a practice, right? Like whatever you do all day um, is something that I'm probably not that good at. So, you know, I have a PhD in like, you know, darning socks and um, cutting circles without a pattern because that's what I've spent the last 35 years of my life doing. But it's really not, um, it's not something that comes second nature to a lot of people. So just keep trying and keep plugging away. And honestly, socks are a really great thing to start with because they're in your shoes and people don't necessarily see them. Right. So it's like the, it, you know, it's a nice place to practice. You can, it doesn't have to be super neat. It doesn't have to be super tidy. It just needs to fix the hole. Right. So you can wear them without discomfort. So are you seeing those, the, the weave is kind of building up there. Does anybody have any questions? Oh, Mary Murphy. She prefers hand sewing. Yeah. You know, I, I really enjoy sewing of any kind, but the thing I love a lot about hand sewing is that, um, it's portable, right? It's like so easy to just like throw it in your bag and bring it with you. And, um, it's just, uh, it allows for you, you know, it's kind of like knitting if you are on the go or, you have other stuff that you need to be paying attention to. Sometimes you can actually do the sewing while you're, while you're actually, you know, listening to something, um, something else. So I'm sorry, I'm looking away from the camera at the moment, but I just, I'm doing a little darning here and I want to be able to get this, um, to you so you can see it in a second. So I want to, um, just got a couple rows in there. So today, if you just tuned in, you guys, um, my name is Crispina French and I am a textile upcycling fool. <laughs> I, um, I actually started my a business. I had a production company for 22 years and we manufactured um, pretty amazing uh, blankets, rugs, pillows, and clothing all made from upcycled textiles. And I started out with... Um, making using pretty much solely wool sweaters that was before polar fleece was invented so um it, it wasn't actually that long ago it sounds kind of crazy when i say that but like in the 1980s i started i was a college student and i i did that for a very long time and i sold to stores all over the world and then i kind of got a little tired of it i got tired of managing people and i wanted to get back to the creative process so i um i did I wrote a teaching book that's called The Sweater Chop Shop, and you can find it in used bookstores, but it's out of print at the moment. Um, I'm thinking about writing a second book, but I just haven't gotten around to that yet. Um, I will sometime, I think. And right now, my big thing, my thing, my kind of passion project is my podcast, which is called Rags to Riches Textile Upcycling Podcast. And you know, I, I really love hanging out with you guys here, but I also feel like podcasts are kind of like, who listens to podcasts? Anybody who's got a favorite podcast? Let me know, comment, whether you're listening to this live right now with me, or you're catching a recording of this, I would love to know which podcast you really did. Cause I have been listening to podcasts for many years and I, um, really love, to listen to them. And I am really loving 
promote, you know, producing one as well. Oh, Suzanne from Highland Secrets says, I love your book. And she was just referring to it this morning. That is awesome. I, I wrote the book um, as a teaching book to just explain to people who thought what I was doing was hard, that it's not, right? Am I right, Suzanne? And Mary, um, Mary found it on Amazon. Um, so when you get all done with, with your rows of, of stitches, you're just going to tuck your end in to a bunch of the stitches and snip it off. And now you have a sock without a hole in it. If anybody has any questions, there's two ways you can go about it. You can ask them right now if you're with me live and just post them in the comments and I can answer them. You can go back and listen to a recording of this. It will be posted on my website, on my blog. And um, you can also, you know, if you put questions in the comments after, you know, if you're catching a recording of this, um, I will do my best to come back and answer those um, in the next couple of days. So I hope that you are, um, are, did you learn something today, you guys? Tell me true. Um, create with Becca. Ooh, hi. First time catching you live. Oh, Becca, I want to know more. What do you create? Tell me, Becca, tell me, where are you? And um, what are you creating? I'd love to know more. Um, and, oh, Carrie, she, she's she's down in Arizona, you guys. And I've just been watching the news and hearing all of the um, weather out there. Like, oh, my goodness. So um, uh, you're flooded in at the cabin. Um, oh, I hope that you're okay. I hope you have what you need. Um, she says she's doing great. So, I mean, there's something to be said be, for being flooded in at a cabin in a beautiful spot. Um, if you just joined us, um, my name is Crispina French and I am a textile upcycling fool. Um, I do a lot of textile upcycling. I love to promote other people who are doing that as well. And, um, there's two things that you might want to take note of. This is my last textile, um, Alchemy Tuesday for a while, I'll probably come back to it, but I'm focusing my attention on a couple of other fun projects. One is my podcast, which I've been rambling on about a little bit. And um, there's actually some comments about it in the feed. Um, Melissa, she loves listening to interview fun fiber friends on rag searches. That's awesome. Thanks, Melissa. And um, I also am working on Rags to Riches Textile Upcycling Summit. Um, that's our second annual. In it's also, it's coming up in April. So that'll be April 12th, 13th, and 14th. If you're, um, sorry, somebody's trying to call me. Um, so if you're, put it on your calendar, cause it's going to be super awesome. It's going to be all virtual. So you don't have to travel and we are going to have over 30 <laughs> textile upcycling, um, professionals joining us to share their stories and their expertise. So, and the other thing about the summit this year, you guys, big news, it's going to be free. Last year we charged a over $200 ticket. And I just thought, you know what? One of the things I like the best about textile upcycling is that it's really accessible. When I started my business, I literally, I'm not even kidding you. I, I started my business with $20. Oh, is the, is the audio back you guys over on Instagram? I think that audio ditched out. Let me know. Let me see if I can fix it. Let's see. Um, somebody on Instagram, can you hear me? Hmm. Mary Murphy, if you can hear me, let me know. So yes, Mary Knoxwells, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, hopefully the people on Instagram can, can get sound back. If you, um, hopefully somebody will let me know. So Mary Knoxwells, yes. Textile summit is going to be April 12th, 13th and 14th. That's a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And, um, let me see what is going on with, um, the sound one minute, you guys, I'm just going to try to see if I can fix the sound over on Instagram. Um, mm -mm. Let me see. That's not doing it. Turn back around. Okay. Hmm. 
Um, confined space ballet. I love your feed and I'm not sure, but if you can hear me, could you let me know, please? I hope you can hear me. I hope it's working again. Anyway. Okay. I hope there's sound, but there might not be. Um, hmm, technology. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, the summit textile upcycling summit, it's for, it's really geared toward people who want to make a, a strong and secure, um, financially viable business, uh, with textile upcycling as kind of the core. So it, if you're interested in that, if you're, um, thinking about maybe doing that, um, you know, just, just holler and, um, we can get you right on the list. And if you go to, um, actually, put a comment. I will put a link in the comments once I get off of, of this um, live stream where you can join the wait list if you're interested in coming to the um, free Rags to Riches Textile Upcycling Summit in April. And with that, I try to keep these to about 20 minutes. And I think that I just hit the 20 minute mark. So I hope you guys all have a really great week. I hope that you get to listen to the podcast. Let me know what you think about it. And if you have suggestions for people or subject matter that you would like to hear about, um, let me know because I love to meet new textile upcyclers. I love to connect with people in ways where we can kind of, um, you know, cross promote and just really nurture this movement. Cause it is a movement. You guys, this is not a trend. This is something that is a really important, um, part of our culture and our path forward to a healthy future. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to staying in really good touch with you guys. So have a great one. And um, I will not be here on um, the Textile Alchemy Tuesday next week. So um, listen to the podcast. Um, join my email list if you're interested. I will be in and out um, of Facebook, but nothing scheduled um, for a live stream right now. Have a great week, you guys. Thanks so much for being with me.